Okay, so I have another um, question from someone who actually asked, uh, should I post on social media about stuttering? I don't know what my friends and colleagues will think of me. Now, this is actually a big, big question because this was uh, something that I was thinking about for a long time. And initially I was gonna go down the anonymous route and um, do something like that. But eventually I did find the confidence to actually start posting publicly as myself. This can be really, really hard. It's one of the, the biggest steps because for quite a lot of people, all of their friends and family, their own community is on social media, be it Facebook, Instagram, etc. A massive decision and it's so important for you to actually be ready to post. Now, I'm not going to blindly say, look, you have to do it, post something and it will make everything better because um, depending on, on who you are, what um, stage you are in your acceptance level, how other people are, like, do you have a strong support around you? It's important that you consider these things because in the age of, of online trolls and bullying and that type of stuff, there will be people who um, may say something that is adverse. But then on the plus side, depending on, on, on how you post, how you frame it, uh, what you write, what you talk about, it can really have a massive, massive positive impact to yourself and the people around you. Look, there will always uh, be people um, saying stuff and thinking stuff. And probably now people watching this video, uh, they may think, what is this guy talking about? He looks like an idiot, etc., etc. This video is rubbish. But it doesn't matter because if you think that you are talking about something important, it's giving value and it may help someone and it's not doing any harm, then it can't go wrong. One of the things that, that you can consider doing is having a bit of a strategy around uh, what you post. If you want to make it like a one-off post, plan it for maximum impact or if you want to do a few things a few pictures with some captions you can do or do video there's so many things that you can think about different formats with other people if it's easier or like a vlog format or a talking headshot a bit like this there are um, different different options but the most important thing is really like really assess where your acceptance level is if you know anyone who's done something similar um, ask some questions and and uh, really get under the bonnet and really see how your progress is and whether um, this would be the next step for you to actually make some more progress in tackling the psychological side of stuttering uh, one quick tip is like people don't really like to be told what to do sometimes so maybe as a beginning like really talk about yourself and and why you're doing this video why you're doing this post and make it more personal if you do that then other people they will resonate with that story with that type of content and you may actually uh, reach some people who will ask you for help to, to do something uh, similar in the future and also I've, I've had people reach out to me saying that they uh, saw some of the stuff I did and they got the drive to actually do the same thing and uh, you can actually create ripple effect for other people, which is um, quite special. So back to the question, uh, if you are thinking about posting on social media, um, definitely do it if you uh, feel that it is the right time for you. If you have a particular message that you wanna share about your stuttering, um, be prepared for people to reach out to you. It can uh, be overwhelming at times because people, they will be happy for you. Don't worry about the trolls. Uh, let them keep lurking in the background and uh, continue on your journey um, as a person who stutters. Thank you very, very much.